Hey guys, you be here and welcome. Hey, uh, real quick note, uh, my house has some serious water damage, so I'm not really going to be doing heavily produced videos. Um, so they're going to be one take videos, they're going to be kind of quick. Um, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the great modifications that I made today, uh, or the last week, on uh, this iron worker. Um, this is a um, a brake that I've modified to take uh, some dies for forging. So uh, this is going to be the first time that I'm using this. I've got some heat on some steel here um, and uh, we're literally going to break this guy in right in front of you guys and you guys can kind of see how this thing works and uh, what I've done. Um, my good friend Nick uh, who also works with me from time to time uh, with the blacksmith Don Asby is uh, behind the camera or the phone. And uh, like I said, we're doing this one take, and that's it. I've got I, I've got a house that's got so much work. Uh, I shouldn't even be here, but you know, I'm just drawn here, and I just have to do this stuff. So, I have my first uh, T-shirt uh, sponsorship. Uh, this is Build Columbia. Uh, they're in Chicago. Their website is buildcolumbiamo.com. Uh, these guys do cabinetry, furniture, uh, bathroom and kitchen uh, remodeling. So if you're local to this area, I highly recommend these guys. Jeff and Andy have been doing this for a long time. They're professionals and um, their work is incredible. So check them out. And uh, you know, if anyone else wants to sponsor my t-shirt, uh, all you have to do is uh, contact me through the, the uh, comment section and um, you know, we'll communicate and I'll let you know where you can send this to and uh, you know, I'll talk about your business gladly. Uh, you know, make sure it's some kind of uh, something that has to do with metal, the metal working trade. Um, and um, that's really it. So, all right, let's get started with this guys. All right, so I've got, let me just run you through a couple things here. Um, you know, these are dies that I made here out of uh, H13 steel mounted on some mild steel plate. And, um, this, I'm going to turn on the machine, it's going to be a little loud, but um, this has a, this, this has a range of, an extreme range here of, what did I say it was, now I'm forgetting, uh, well, it's approximately, oh yeah, three and, three and a quarter inches. Uh, opening here and then um, it has a stroke a complete stroke about I wrote it down it's like two inches and nine sixteenths I believe is uh, the full stroke so that's as far as it will go um, the hydraulic uh, piston here is just not gonna um, you know pull it in anymore so uh, you know that's that's my range that I'm working with it can smush uh, two inches and nine sixteenths. So what I do if I need to, um, if I need more of a range is I have this foot pedal device here that push it up, that pushes the plate up and I can slide in, actually this is out of order. I can slide in my first plate here. And then if I need to keep going, and so this way I've got one hand free to hold the work and I can raise the die to where I need to go because uh, as you'll see later I'm going to show some different variety of, um, of uh, material and um, so let's get started uh, here's um, I don't know this looks like 5 8 inch rod and you know I've never done this before um, I do work for a blacksmith. I've been working for a blacksmith for the last three years. So I'm really comfortable on a, on a power hammer. Wow, that gets it cold real quick, doesn't it? That just sucked the, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so that was someone had already started a, a square on there. So here's another piece. This is about, I don't know, inch and an eighth by half inch. So. some heat left in it there but I'm going by sound I can hear you know the pump straining the hydraulic pump straining and so I'll, I can stop so you know not quite the speed of the power hammer but um, you know it's uh, better than uh, it was a, a lot more affordable for me personally than to be working with a striker so you know while this is definitely not as quick as a power hammer um, it works great as a press obviously and I'm kind of using it as a power hammer or I'd like to um, even though it's going to take a long 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 time so, so here's a situation uh, where using these spacers I think would come in handy but it is uh whoa look at that yeah uh, it did curve it but you know what so so this is where the spacer is going to come in handy throw that in there you know I'm wasting time doing this but you know the, and the work is getting cold but you know it's still faster than working with the striker so I, I still have some heat in there so let's take that out Guys, this is the first time running this, and uh, I must say it is working as I, I guess, expected it to to work. But um, I'm also, uh, you know, there's a learning curve here, so you know, I guess uh, there's really a lot to uh, to learn. A lot of fun here, a lot of fun here. So I'm gonna put this in, and uh, I don't know, Nick, you want to give this a try? Yeah, sure. All right, let me take the camera here. What do you think? What do you think? It's really smooth. Yeah? shake you all over the place like power hammer <laughs> yeah you know? yeah and it's quieter oh yeah you don't need air protection less stress yeah that it just dawned on me was i even wearing uh my my protective glasses though when i was, guys i was just so excited i forgot to put my glasses on um pretty cool. oh well all right guys well hey that's it um nick i'm gonna hand this over to you yeah um oh once again let me just uh let me here, let's watch, move your hand uh so hey guys this is the little mechanism that i made little foot pedal here a little close up and then it originally had had a handle uh so i made a little little mechanism there to uh move it with my foot um oh hey it looks like i forgot to um Looks like I forgot to put a screw in there, or a nut on there. It looks it just fell out. So you know we got we got a little uh, little kinks and stuff to work out, but um, this is it. This is it. So no more modifications. Um, I'm 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 through with this thing. Uh, well, there will be other uh, stuff like this. Um, this is a plate. Uh, I'm going to cut out a hardy hole and probably 
uh, I don't know, a pretzel hole. Is that how you say it? Yeah, pretzel. A pretzel, yeah, there you go. So I'll put a pretzel there um, or in this one. I, I really don't know what I'm doing yet, but that's what these are for. Um, these, these iron workers have a gap here for your waist, your slugs to fall fall down into and there's a place they'll catch it. So I'll be able to um, drive punches and um, uh, well, uh, re reamers, I guess that's what you call them. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm not really a blacksmith, uh, you know, just, just still learning the craft. So my vocabulary and lingo may not be that great, uh, you know, so don't, uh, you know, don't, don't beat me up for that kind of stuff. Anyhow, um, that's it. Um, if you like this, guys, like always, subscribe, uh, like it, share. Um, and, uh, hey, don't forget about the uh, T-shirt sponsorship. You know, I want to spread the love and promote your business. Uh, you know, this free of charge, no strings attached. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, peace out, guys. Peace out.